Kia ora, Sandy here and, and today in our tech talk we're going to be finding out a little bit more about what people are doing in their world of technology and with me I've got Lloyd Vickery from B Arena and the person that we're talking to from the far north district council this is the top council in New Zealand by geography Damon Campbell Hey guys, how you going? Good. Now, your role within the Far North District Council is traditionally the CIO, but you do a bit more than that. Yeah, so uh, my role is the Chief Digital Officer, and we've done that on purpose to get away from the traditional IT and really focus into that digital landscape, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, we are living and breathing every single day with COVID. And, and we've also had a drought too in Northland as well to deal with. So we've had a double whammy. One thing that's being used a whole lot more now is the digital experience for people is becoming a real key focus. Definitely. My, my sort of view around the digital landscape is it's around how do we get our customers closer to us so that we can remove those barriers that traditionally exist in a physical environment. And also just trying to make sure that that experience is almost as good, if not better, than what they had previously done too. So it's just really about, again, the customer experience is a really key part of what uh, Far North is, is looking to do and achieve. So digital is just one part of that enabling process to allow that to happen for our residents and our customers. Now, the Far North, now this may sound bad and I apologise if it does, is not really associated with fast moving technology. <laughs> Uh, now we have our challenges, I mean a lot like uh, other rural areas of New Zealand, broadband and access to broadband is always an issue which we, we had to sort of overcome that when we did our lockdown. But no, I wouldn't say it's necessarily always that slow, Sandy. Um, <laughs> we've, we've had a bit of a journey over the past 12 months that ironically we sort of nicknamed Fast and Furious because we had a lot of things to do. We went very fast and achieved a lot of great projects that ironically as well gave us a really good stead into what we're now dealing with as part of this 2020 COVID uh, world and everything else. So we have been quite fortunate and, and pretty lucky to be fair. So what changes have you made? So I arrived um, in uh, the beginning of 2019. We, we went through this process of really identifying what are those core applications and services that we needed to get current and the whole delivery of how we deliver applications to our, our people. The introduction of Office 365 teams as well has given us a, a new workplace that we're working in now due to COVID has made it so much easier for our people to just to carry on working from where they are. So we've still got 80% of our workforce still working from home as their primary location. We haven't gone back to pre-COVID normal. We are creating a new normal um, as we go. So the digital platform that you had to change, was there much to do to make sure that everyone was working from home? We had the news that Jacinda gave the country in late March. We had uh, two days and we basically got 400 people working from home relatively seamlessly. I mean, we had done a lot of prep work, as I say before, a lot of stuff that we had done just in the nick of time. We were very lucky in that space. But yeah, 400 people left the building. Two days later, they were working as normal with a new set of tools. So Teams, as I was saying, was quite a big one. We had a new Citrix environment, which allowed the secure working from home with applications that are still architected to, do, to work in nine offices, which we now have 400. So that's a really big change from thinking of the traditional office. So we talk about workplaces now, not not offices. And that's a real big change of mind shift. And we're still going through that journey. Uh, well, not journeys, journeys are boring, adventures are fun, as I say. So this is a really good digital adventure and it's working really well for our people. Yeah, they're really enjoying the freedom just to travel alone. You know, some people will be traveling two to three hours a day back and forth from offices that they now get to be more productive with and do different things in different ways. So it's really opened up all those opportunities for us. Now I'll bring Lloyd in. So Lloyd from B Arena, who leads a team with B Arena within New Zealand and ASI. We're really impressed by the amount of change that our North District Council has been through in such a short period of time, like you say, Damon. And I guess one thing that I'd love for you to share is how did you find an extra 12 hours every day to get all that stuff done? Mm. How did you stop all the infrastructure projects from dragging you away from the really meaningful digital transformation that you've been spearheading? I do get some sleep, which is needed, but certainly I, I've got a great team. So I've got 30 people that have basically joined the adventure with me so we've pulled out every stop nook and cranny and done a whole lot of great things but I think it goes wider than just the IT team and I think the biggest change that we've done over the last 12 months within the council is really establish where that digital services team sits and what they can do 
and I've really pushed the, the notion that they are the enablers for the business to decide and to do different things. And it wasn't a, a, a traditional IT gives you something and goes, there you go. We wanted the business to sort of help control those priorities and engage with us a lot more. And that's really helped with regards to Office 365, for example, we did a lot of work with an early adopter program. So we sort of shoulder tapped a number of teams and individuals and teams who would likely be ones that would be good advocates in developing those use cases for how we could deploy teams and SharePoint and OneDrive. And that really helped the momentum grow, mm. you know, not to steal Jacinda's team of 5 million, but the team of 400 really become that juggernaut that we just almost have to now sort of start slowing down and controlling a bit more because it's now going a wee bit too fast if I'm... Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. See, the team I have is, is absolutely bloody fantastic. I mean, they literally have made um, all of this possible. Um, and I just, I just like to think I'm the conductor at the, at the top trying to make sure we're all on the same page. But once we get on the same page, we are just mm. humming with a great tune. Damon Campbell from the Far North District Council, thank you very much for your time. Cool. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it.